Okay. All right, we're back. Uh, Project Wall Rider. Transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkop Court records. Jennifer Rowland. My 14th autopsy of a Wall Rider patient showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient, independent swarm. <clears throat> so tired, downing my judgment, will submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patience is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based upon sperm, major sperm protein. Will definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. More meds. Murkoff, security, killed patient, 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Yikes. All right. Let's see anything else here. Jesus. Ah, that's nice. Mmm. All right. Delivery exit. Is this it? No. It's supposed to be a delivery exit. Look at all this. It's like ice. Wee. Still in A block. Oh, look, it's, it's sunny out. All right, hold on. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything down here. Christ. Nothing. Oh, that's interesting. Oh shit! There it is! Fuck, I think I better get out of here! Shit! Oh, it just fucked him up. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Like a fucking boss! Holy shit! Damn, grated them like fucking cheese. Ho oh. Death of the soldier. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me out. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. It's the hell of... PTSD is going to have after this. Uh, I don't know, man. It, delivery exit. There was a door down here. Fuck, but now everything is shut. No, I can't do anything. <clears throat> Great. Now 
trolleys are sealed fucking shut tight. And that's that's the fucking way out, man. Damn it. <sighs> this is the same spot we were before. Well, I don't know where to go. Who is this? Is this... That's the guy, Wanky. No such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left. Because. Because <coughs> of Billy. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, poor idiot. How do I get in here? Do you know what this symbol represents? It holds a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades, but never mind. This guy. Kirchhoff discovered in my research a walk around. Turn the cells in the human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineer the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. Little nano monocles. Foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use Batman to make something so strong. It's an interesting f picture. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support. His anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. Where is he? No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Find Billy in the main laboratory. <sighs> Where the fuck is that, man? We achieved something like this in 1944. Those fascists thought it was spirits. And I let them believe it. Let them kill themselves, thinking there was some kind of afterlife now empirically promised to them. Hmm. Fools. Poor Alan. He would weep. To see what I've built from his dreams. Billy doesn't mean harm. He's a child with a damaged mind. Granted the powers of a god. It would make any of us into a monster. You must end this. We all must die here. Merkov knew the danger. And they didn't care. Hmm. In the corporation's mind, we all just dollar amounts in a ledger. The Prophet's Project War Rider promised overshadowed whatever pitiful balance a few doctors and patients amounted to. He will spread if you don't stop him. Boy. The morphogenic engine is self perpetuating. I pray to God you have the strength to end it here with your death. More than anything, I want to rest. Billy will not let me die. You could never imagine how cruel this is. <laughs> I only want <clears throat> to die. Boy, he just keeps going, doesn't he? Well, I don't know where the fuck the main laboratory is. Down here? It's a cafeteria. Well, now we're in cell block B, at least. Hmm. More fucking toilets.
Oh shit! Fuck! Fuck her! What do you like? Blow my head up? bathrooms we can do in here. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. Alright, well, it's just one big loop. Did this loop? What the fuck? Well, I don't know where to go, man. Move out of my way, Billy. Dude, how do I... Damn it, man. You blocked my way. I know I gotta get up there. I wonder if I just see him floating around if I keep this on. D-block. Ah, oh, shit. Decontamination. Alright, good. Saving. Alright, hold on a minute. Alright, maybe I should just see what's down these stairs first. Oh, it won't even let me thrill. Alright. Can't even get thrill. So there it is. Oh boy. Is this 
the main fucking room here. This is where Billy's on life support. Turn off the valve for the life support fluid reservoir. Is this our boy? Educated. Wow, look at all this stuff he's watching. It's like clockwork orange. I don't know if it's an aversion therapy or not. Who knows? Billy Hope. From Billy's patient's report, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 15 years of rough road, pain, scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Yeah, if I only know where this valve is. Who's this? I don't know who that is. Life support fluid reservoir. Okay, let me just see what's over here, I guess. I'm sure we didn't miss a file. Oh, battery. 10 out of 10. Jeez, they, re <clears throat> they really became generous with the batteries in the last third of this game. Anywho. See you later, dude. All right. All right, another note. Life support. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. Machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. Alright. Liquid nitrogen. Document. Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. Excerpt chapter four. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Right. Cut off the electric supply from the sub lab generator. Well, it's not in here. Holy shit. Well, where do I... Where's the kill switch? Fuck. Ah, oh, shit! Ah. Oh.
God damn it. God damn that DJ made my day. Do I have to do it again? No, it's done. All right. No idea where the switch is. Can't get through here. Dude! Holy shit! How many stairs? Oh my god! It's been 10 flights of stairs. Oh, I missed it. You gotta be kidding me. Ha oh, ha. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, nice. Fuck, hurry up. Hurry. I don't even have any time to explore. Here it is. Disabled Billy life pod fail safe. Do I have to go back to the pod? Please find attached the permission to proceed from the patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is aware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wormkey, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Poor Billy. He didn't know what he was getting into. I don't know how he could consent to that if he was a kid. You know? Nothing back here. Shut off his fail safe. Oh, oh, shit. Fuck. I'm going the right way. Dude, where is he? He broke out? Fuck! I don't know where the switch is.
Shit! Fuck. Getting killed so much. I have no idea where the switch is, man. Nothing to activate. I don't know if it's right here. Maybe that's where it is. I don't know. Try that spot again. Try that spot one more time. Okay. Shit. Oh! Oh! There was a file there I missed too. Shit! Oh my god! Is he losing strength? Sorry, Billy. Oh, I think that's it. It's a long belly. Cost me my index and my ring finger. New objective, get out. Morpheogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morpheogenic engine life pod requires daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1, the enriched, enriched oxygenated, purple carbon form life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed out and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient, potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system number two, electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublap generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublap generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital system three, in the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems one, two, life pod fail safe will engage. All right, we know all this. I guess I should have grabbed that in the beginning. But how do I get the fuck out of here? I think it is. Jeez, he's fucking messed up. I don't think he's gonna make it. <sighs> Shit. This is agony. <laughs> oh my lord. Wonder if he got possessed by Billy. Oh, the SWAT team's here. Oh, they killed me. The doctor betrayed me. 
Ohoho. Gott im Himmel. You have become the host. He possessed me, I know it. He's inside of me. Well, he finally, finally was able to attack in the end. Well, that was pretty sweet. Nice. 100 points, sweet. The punished. Well. That was a cool game, man. I, uh... I was a bit skeptical going into it because, uh, well, I thought that, um, I was like, how are they going to, how is this going to be, you know, all that entertaining if you can't even fight back or, you know, perform any kind of revenge kills or anything, you know, um, but, uh, it ended up working out, I guess, uh, kept me on my toes. It really knew how to build up tension. Atmospherically, it was amazing. Uh, that's what I'm really loving about these next-gen consoles, is that, uh, or this gen now, i got to stop saying next-gen, is the uh, big-time improvements that they've made just in creating atmosphere and ambiance with lighting and shading and uh, that kind of stuff is just phenomenal. I mean, between this game and um, The Evil Within, the ambiance is just incredible. So, a lot, a lot of fun. And uh, the jump scares in this game, all I can say is, is that they fucking worked. They were unbelievable. Uh... And they worked very well. And the audio, speaking of Audio Connect, uh, amazing, amazing game sound. Which, you know, in a horror game or a horror movie, that's something that you have to have in order for it to work and be scary. Take that new movie, uh, The Conjuring, right? 2013, The Conjuring came out. And I think one of the reasons why that movie worked and was so scary was because of the sound design and the music and this game had both uh joseph Bash joseph bashara did the musical score in uh the conjuring he also did the in insidious movies and uh annabelle and i gotta tell you when you have a, a soundtrack that works and is scary and is grating i mean it works and this game had that too. Like there were parts in this game, which I don't know why they've had the music stop just now. Uh, there were parts in this game where uh, the music just scared the shit out of me, man. Uh, and that's what really made this game work. Music, great sound design, ambiance, and jump scares that weren't, you know, superfluous. That really fucking scared you. Uh, for instance, too, I just saw a movie, uh, The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death, and it was not scary because they used the jump scare way too much to the point where it became meaningless and to the point where it just deflated all of the tension and the buildup because that's what a jump scare does, right? It's kind of like releasing the pressure valve because when it happens, all of a sudden all that scared and bottled up energy inside you is finally coming out and is released but if you use it too much superfluously it it does a lot of damage it does more damage than good and this game seemed to have the proper amount of jump scares and and you know i think making a jump scare work is when you're least expecting it as opposed to, you know, playing through and be like, oh man, when is it coming? When is it coming? I know it's coming. I know it's coming. And then you're just kind of waiting for the jump skip. But in this one, you know, you kind of forgot about it a little bit. And it was, you know, you're still playing through the game with a ton of tension, but then all of a sudden, bam, you got the jump scare. And, and I got to say, at least three or four times in this game, uh, 
the jump scare scared the living shit out of me. And to me, that's a hallmark of a good game with good, you know, horror qualities. Knowing when and how much to use the jump scare. All right, dudes. uh, I think that there's another part to this, the whistleblower. So I'm going to see. I don't know if this was included in the package that I downloaded or not. So we'll have to see. But I guess the whistleblower uh, looks at the events. It was like a prequel. What what happened up to this? You know, before this reporter came in and uh, and saw what happened. So, Outlast, highly recommend it. Get it. You'll you won't be you won't regret it. All right, dudes. Peace. <laughs>